I think one of the things that I look for is a couple things. One is I want to look for what I call big picture thinkers, meaning people who think broadly about design and its application. Because you don't know when you come in. A lot of our projects are team-based. We work across a lot, a lot of different industries. We're in consulting business where it's not necessarily a predictable set of problems that we're going to be asked to solve. So you have to think on your feet. And I want people that see design and the capabilities of design in the broadest possible way, not someone who thinks about purely what they've been training in. So I want someone who may who has depth, right? They need to have craft, but they need to have empathy. We describe what we call T-shaped people that have the ability to go very deep and they are experts in their craft and their goal is to be world class. But at the same time, they have a curiosity about everything else that it takes to take, create something and they want to be involved. So that's a really important thing. I also look for people who have a point of view about design. They have, a, they have an opinion about why they are a designer, what type of work drives them, what they think they want to do, how they want to guide their careers. I don't like all the things like, you know, I've learned Photoshop and Illustrator and all this stuff. It's like, you know, who cares? If you don't know it, we can train you in that. What we can't necessarily train you in is having a strong point of view about design and about your role in design. And that's probably the, the biggest thing I look for. Um, and I tend to gravitate towards programs that are good at instilling that, that I don't see a house style coming out of the program or I don't see people that have focused so much on the vocation of their craft that they, you know, that they want to talk about software packages.